leaving California today and it looks like we, we're going to get away with not having to buy any expensive gasoline. We just stopped at a, this Arco station right here uh, ahead of us where gas was only $2.95 a gallon. And for California, that's pretty good. I've seen it $3.99. I looked on my Gas Buddy app and another town uh, to the west of here, it's actually $4.29. So $2.95, yeah. You know, I, I still had over half a tank of gas. I pretty could, probably could have made it back to Arizona. Uh, but at $2.95, I'm topped off. I've got a full tank again. This will probably be the only gas we bought in California. So it's doable. You can travel in California without buying expensive gas, depending on where you go. I can't urge enough to, when you're traveling really anywhere, to use the Gas Buddy app particularly in states like California and Arizona, a lot of the western states. Um, anyway, we're going to get on our way. I've been here, we've been here in Ridgecrest, California for three days actually, and I got some work done, and I got something else in mind. Uh, I want to head back out of California. <laughs> I got some other stuff I want to do. There, and just down the road here a little bit, there's a Shell station, it's 319. So that, that was only a half a mile away. I think we'll see when we get back down towards the interstate. I think we're headed for interstate, uh, interstate 40, I think. I think you'll see gas, state, uh, gas prices jump up real high all of a sudden. So we're on our way back to Arizona, and we're down here at Kramer Station, or Kramer Junction. And you'd think here by this, we're maybe getting pretty close to Route 66 again, right? Well, we are pretty close, but it's not Route 66; it's Route 58, which isn't too far from 66, right? So we're at this junction here. I guess Route 58 that goes uh, to the east towards Arizona. Uh, this is a highway right here. That's 395. We just came south on 395 and it looks like I left the headlights on in the bounder. Uh, there was a section, a safety corridor, so I had my headlights on and I forgot to turn them off. Uh, but, okay, so this place, we'll take a quick look here. King uh, advertisement for King Edward cigars. Old Ford truck. Old John Deere tractor. And let me see, what is really unique here that I don't see very often is this raring to go frontier sign. Maybe that was a, a chain of gas stations or, uh, I don't know. I've never seen that before. Never seen that before, but that's a really cool sign. And I didn't notice the old bicycle up on the roof at first. Now, this Kramer Junction Antique Stores is open, but uh, I don't have my mask with me and I'm not gonna bother going inside here. I, there was another sign here I wanted to, I like here, there's the standard, the standard oil sign. Don't see a whole lot of those around. And of course an old Coke machine that needs, uh, that needs some restoration. But right, let's go down here. Let's go down here. And we have some more gas station stuff that's pretty cool. Here we go, the Abundant Water Company. That's a good business name. So it's an old flatbed truck. And pretty nice old water tank on the flatbed. Oh, wait a minute, let's have a look up. Look, there's an old windmill. And a water tank. A Conco sign. An old Conoco sign. I have no idea how long Conoco has been around, but it's been for a little while. We got a, it's definitely an older sign. So we have the gates are open here. Now, this is really cool, this old mobile gas station. It's, I mean, it just seems just as authentic as like everything belongs, you know, the couple of gas pumps of mobile gas and the old oil can, uh, oil can rack. 
Yeah, you know, yeah, that's what you'd probably typically see a Coca Cola cooler, a thing for pumping. I don't know if that's oil or, uh, yeah, that's a oil filling thing and, you know, some jacks and stuff around, a tire changer. It's like a uh, nice little complete gas station. Flying A service. And then over here, uh, some nice old pumps. Sunland, I've never heard of Sunland before. And Union. And now this is a unique one. I've never seen this here feature before. It looks like a hose reel in here that the, the hose would have wound up in there. That's a pretty unique pump there. Huh. These are there's another one that's a little bit different. I don't know, same kind of thing here. The, the handle would have, nozzle would have hung here. Yeah, that must have somehow wound up in the side of that, but I've never seen a gas pump like that before either. And then there, there's another one with the, interesting. Never seen that type of gas pump before. And this rounded top here with the light in it. These are a little different. Take a quick look here. And don't want to forget about the truck. I don't know what kind of truck that is. That is a, a Mormon Harrington all-wheel drive. Never heard of Mormon Her Harrington before. Pretty nice. That's a pretty cool grill. Nice design. All right, well, I better turn my headlights off here before we're, we're now out of the safety cor corridor. I can take the, or turn the headlights back off. When we pulled up, I did see in the garage door, the open garage door, there's a bunch of stuff inside too, but we're just gonna do our social distancing thing and move on. We got a long way to go today. And I think this California 58 East will take us to, uh, Interstate 40 in Barstow, California. Now here we are, I made it back to Arizona. We weren't stuck in California. I didn't see any signs of any lockdown or any troubles like that. And we were lucky enough to only have bought gas at one time for $2.95 a gallon. All in all, not bad. Not a bad trip. But we're back in Arizona now, and I got some things I want to do. So we'll get on with that. the word adventure so that got my interest uh, where they're at we've been we've been before but there's a lot of good riding out there I do want to get the motorcycle off there's a little there's a ghost town that I have been wanting to go to it's been marked on my map for three years now and everybody's down here and they got side by sides and uh, another fella another, another buddy of mine has a, a dirt bike and I'm hoping I'm hoping to go do that so so we didn't race back we kind of well kind, we kind of did um, what was I gonna say about that the thing is about the bounder and traveling alone is 
you know, I hate I hate to leave the bounder uh, with Bella in it unattended. Just you know, I'll boondock it somewhere and and leave it behind, you know, for an hour or two or a, a day trip. Just leave it unattended. I just can't bring myself to do that. So you know, to go on any adventures like that, I do have to. You know, I would have to go to a you know a legit campground where there's at least, at least some level of security that. You know, there's personnel around and other campers that, you know, I, I still don't like doing that too much, but um, I, I will, I have and will do that, but I just, and the other thing about going out by myself on the motorcycle, you know, if I were to wreck it and get hurt or get a flat tire or um, hopefully I have cell service, you know, out where I'm at, but you know, there's safety in doing those kind of things. Whether you're just out traveling in an RV or out in an, in an off-road adventure, there's that certainly safety in, you know, going with others. So, we got our break, you know. We've kind of been with the group for a handful of weeks or a month or, or more. And uh, we kind of needed a break. I did, and uh, uh, so we've been gone. I don't know how the videos are gonna play out, but I think we've been gone for about a week and a half. You know, went and uh, went through Death Valley, and uh, I don't know if that was a bucket list item, but you know, it's something I, I did really want to do was uh, check out Death Valley once, and I'd be willing to do it again. Oh, the sun! Um, uh, so anyway, so we're gonna go back down here with our friends, and Bella will be. Another part of that is Bella. Yeah, it's just me and her. Well, yeah, we'll goof off and go for walks and goof around like we, you know. But um, she sure loves. She is, she is so social. She she just loves other people and uh, and her dog friends. And when we get down with our friends, she'll be oh my, God, she'll be so wound up. She'll be. And the other dogs are and other people are always so glad to see her too so probably more glad to see her than they are me <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway we're gonna we're getting pretty close to I'm gonna stop up here we got we're gonna get this little scenic view and this is one of my favorite areas so we're gonna uh, stop up here and check something out I always love this view. Uh, this is a part of the Colorado River that's below Lake Havasu. And I'm guessing there's another dam down below for this to be dammed up like this. I, I don't know. But it, it's just, it's just so scenic. And you know, earlier in the day when the sun was hitting the water, the water just looked so blue, you know, with the mountains in the, in the backdrop. It's just really nice. Let me walk over here just a little bit because because Bella needs a break too. Here you kind of see how the water looks blue green, but you know when the sun's on it, it, it just really looks blue. And what's nice is you know there's a neighborhood just beyond that cove over there. Oh, I bet it's so hot in the summer. But that's what air conditioners are for. <laughs> Yeah. So, and that is California on the other side. And another neighborhood over on the hillside over there. All right. I'm going to walk Bella around a little bit and then we're going to get on the road because I want to get down there before it gets dark. Wait, wait. I don't think we're going to make it before dark. Though. We may finally get to go to Planet Arizona. It's a ghost town that was been on my bucket list for three years. 
And I just haven't made it out there. Um, not that it's anything big and spectacular, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I just, it's been limited information online and a couple of random pictures. I don't know how fantastic it's going to be, but it's just a remote place where there was a, you know, had a post office and, it, you know, it was mainly just mining and, you know, the same old story of when the, when the mines ran out, the, the town dried up. And so I'm not sure what all still remains there. But uh, I hope to find out. <laughs> so as you can see, I do have the, the both the e-bike and the motorcycle off. That's what I'm going to go on today. Uh, it's probably going to be a group ride. Yeah, see, a bunch of friends here camping. Quite a, quite a group of friends. Pretty big, but we're going to take the uh, little Suzuki Van Van today. And uh, I'm not sure if Bella's going or not. Bella's riding with Chuck right at the moment. And there's Holly. There's Chuck's new dog, Holly. Hello. Hey, Holly. Was that fun? Bella, come on. Come on, Bella. Bella and Holly was out riding. <laughs> was that fun? She's, I like riding side by sides. <laughs> you stay here now. So I'm not sure when everybody is going to be ready exactly, but uh, we'll cut back in once we get on our way. We've come a long way out here and I don't have a good mount to put the camera on the motorcycle for you know the dash cam effect the canyon we have the canyons we've come through but on the way back I might try to figure something out to get capture some of it some pretty interesting places we've come through but uh, we're at the ruins of planet Arizona now I was told part of the ruins up here included a, a little bit of the post office i don't know if this was the post office or there's also some other uh, you might walk down there or ride down there there's some other you know uh what's left of a foundation down there but i don't know what this building might have been i don't know if there's any clues to uh, any clues here it's interesting this one doorway was was arched and the others are not <laughs> but there's a fireplace in here some windows it's pretty cool how that part of it still stands but there we all are but there we all are parked down there uh bruce's uh, geo tracker and then there's, I forget whose Jeep that is behind it three side-by-sides a regular quad and my motorcycle and I'm gonna tell you I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a workout I haven't off-roaded the motorcycle probably that many miles We're probably back in here 15 miles so some of it's rough In that green area uh, out there is a, I forget what river runs down through there, but this is all part of the Bill Williams Nature Reserve. So. When we go back out of here, I'm going to stop at a mine shaft that it's very fascinating. And that was the first thing I, when I researched this and found out about Planet Arizona, it's a ghost town. It was the one picture I seen that uh, really captured my interest, and I did, we did pass it. I'm, I'm gonna make sure to stop it away back because it is just really fascinating. In a way, there's bars on it. It almost looks like a a jail cell was carved into the side of the rock, but I think it's just a mine shaft, not a jail cell. But it looks really cool, so I'm gonna stop and check that out. Yeah, this is just kind of fascinates me between some of the black rock down below and then, you know, just right over here we run into uh, red rock over here in the next hill. And yeah, that's the contrast of the, just all the rock and then greenery right here in the river. I just like it. <laughs> <laughs> 
well this may have been a structure it was kind of hiding here behind the weeds i didn't see but it looks like a some sort of structure that got yeah, blown in or kicked in or whatever so that's two the remains of two buildings let's go over to this other one Okay, more mule poop. It's not as fresh. <laughs> and a couple of places here in the hillside that are that are dug out here and up there a little bit. So I might have been uh, looking for precious metals and such. All right, I don't know if this is the easy way up or not, but decided to just. I. Uh, We're gonna make it. So this is what has brought me all this way. I've been wanting for three years was just this this mine opening. Seen a picture of it online and thought, how cool is this? <laughs> I don't know how well the camera's gonna adjust here. Huh. Yeah, and look at the color here. Wow blue and red and all sorts of color all right maybe we'll get out and have a peek at that other one the other opening you better just check here nope that's pretty solid <laughs> yeah look at all the look at all the blue in here Okay, onto the other side. Okay, that was that shaft up there we just came down from. The other ones here down here at ground level. We'll just walk up to it real quick. Somewhere in here. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm gonna cut up right in here. See, I should get myself a little four-wheel drive RV that I can just come back in here and camp and explore. I wouldn't get the, the bounder 10 miles from this place. Okay, this is one looks like they started, but, oh, then this isn't the, wait, there might be another one besides this one. I don't think this is the one I've seen from the road, but they didn't get very far and gave up, I guess. And there's lots of blue here. Check that out. Wow. I guess that last one was the one I looked at earlier. And I don't know if there's any more on this. Why they went after this hill. Maybe that blue stuff is a clue. But, yeah. I didn't see any other mining activity or shafts around these other hills, but oh, there probably is. But none were as obvious. We did come across this old trail of old tin cans. A whole bunch of them. And uh, a couple of bands that look like they might have gone around like an old wooden barrel. Here's a couple more. Looks like they must have come from this building. It was probably the source. Hmm. There is a there's a cattle pen down here. So, you know, maybe some farmer. I think I did see on the maps, I think I did see a farm in the area like on the other side of the river 
maybe I come down here and watered and grazed a little bit and but there's a cattle pen oh and I just noticed too yeah the power lines there's a transformer right there and right at that first post right over here is there's actually an electric meter over there huh I wonder what was over there. There's a little concrete slab. I wonder what was over there that had electricity to it. Okay, this is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm only going to do this for a little bit. Because a lot of loose sand and gravel, and it's a good idea to have both hands on the handlebar. So, one hand and loose gravel, but take it easy. I kind of wanted to show a little bit of the, some of what we've been driving through this can uh, <laughs> this canyon here. I'll do I'll do what I can here. I think up here a little bit more. I think it gets a little more a little more interesting maybe a little tighter canyon. We made it back and the, the little Suzuki performed spectacularly today. We did a good job. Here comes everybody. Stay here. Stay here a minute. Wait a minute. Ready? We got one more coming. You gotta wait for traffic. Okay? We got one more coming. Oh, that was fun. Uh, that was a fun, a fun outing. <laughs>